SEC Cincinnati kicks off later this month, but today you will see, potentially hear the movement over on the West End and near the stadium as the organization works towards its next goal. Uh, capitalizing on the team's success, trying to expand out, and then it's expanding socially and physically their footprint down in the West End. WLWT News Size Meredith Stutz is live down there where demolition is set to get started today, but not everybody is totally on board with the plans here, Meredith. Yeah, certainly some mixed feelings behind me. Good morning to you, Stephen, here from the West End. And behind me, you see that big excavator and fencing. Signs that demolition is starting today for FC Cincinnati and its partners. New multi-use district that is totaling out to $300 million in eight and a half acres. Now, we don't know yet what it will be called or even what renderings will look like. But FCC says the space will be inspired by places like Wrigleyville in Chicago and Titletown in Green Bay. Family-friendly spaces with a hotel, apartments, restaurants, and more near professional sports stadiums. Now, for that to happen, existing buildings have to come down, three in this first phase alone. People like Marvin Smith, who owns Alling's Trolley, says he's benefited from new business thanks to TQL Stadium, but isn't sold on how he says his neighboring businesses were treated during the planning process. Businesses have been here for years, seem like didn't get any help. But they're going to bring all these new restaurants in here and all these new businesses. And the restaurants that have been here for 30 plus years is just kind of booted out of the way. That's the only problem I have with the whole thing. It's kind of like displacement, you know, of, of housing units. Well, this will be additive to the community, we really believe. We have the community council support for the project. Uh, we're going to bring a lot more residents to the neighborhood. We're going to be bringing some much needed new housing to the area, new restaurants, which are much needed. Uh, office space, which is much needed, um, a hotel, which is much needed. All right, so phase one of this project officially begins today at 1.30 when FC Cincinnati co-CEO and president Jeff Birding will climb into that excavator behind me with a little bit of assistance and take the first swipe at the building behind me, which, by the way, is the old Cincinnati Ballet building, signifying the beginning of that demolition project. Reporting live in the West End, Meredith, that's WLWT News 5. Meredith, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Still